Alright, Gregor Toro again. Here, let me block out that ridiculous light. There we go. There we go. Okay. Awesome. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, cool. So, free energy, motherfucking simplified. Listen to this. Alright, so we got we got the rodent coil here, okay? Um, and what just happened is like mind blowing in terms of the revelations for free energy and that might be a lot fucking simpler than we thought. I mean like really fucking simple. I'm dropping the F-bomb because I'm sort of like blowing up right now in terms of like uh, what just happened. And that this probably didn't have the effect um, that uh, uh, Rodin might have not discovered because of the way they're making them, they're, try they're making them of hollow tubes, so they only want the magnetic field absorbed. You do want the magnetic field absorbed, so it's a little different in terms of how it's absorbed. Because it's not technically when they use the word absorbed, it's steel or it's a paramagnetic substance that's absorbing it. But really, a ferromagnetic substance is what they mean by absorbing it. Um, so usually people talk about putting iron into these guys. No iron. You don't want to use iron. No ferromagnets. Um, and because the entire inside is diamagnetic, that's the key. The diamagnetism. What else probably helped a lot is I put some distilled water, which I forgot to mention. Distilled water is not conductive. Usually, water is conductive. It's because of the minerals in it. But distilled water is not really conductive. It's a really good insulator, um, and it's also diamagnetic. So it probably drastically amplified this coil. But even taking it out, it still worked. It would have been interesting to see what the charge was with it in the distilled water. Now, here's the crazy concept: being it had charge, and charge slowly drained out, and you started a black hole. The concept would be. Oh, hi, here's Claudia with our kitty. We found this kitty about a week ago, hitchhiking at truck stop. Someone gave it to us. Long story there, but back to this. Um, is if you have this over a pyramid, okay, and we do the same concept and put a lot of electricity in it, and the really cool, simple idea is building a lightning pole, a lightning pole in the center of this. Um, so it strikes down, energizes the hell out of this thing, generates a huge black hole, um, over the pyramid and basically gets this thing running. Um, the question is how long would it run? Would it be perpetual? Who knows? The thing is it's really using diamagnetism to get this machine running. Um, and uh, it might have been how the Egyptians did get some sort of free energy. Um, and yeah, that would be the crazy concept that I want to try is making a big one of these that could sustain the strike of a lightning strike um, in conjunction with a pyramid and maybe or using a cone I really would go with the pyramid, pyramid of Giza um, great ratio um, and having this guy up and running and then running then after the lightning strikes seeing how much electricity this guy puts out and it could put out a feasible amount and it could put it out for a while um, and that would be the interesting thing in terms of getting a feedback loop um, and I don't know like it's just so much running through my head but that's the crazy concept um, in that once you get this thing running it's still gonna put out electricity um, even though we were on the millivolts it was getting back at one point it did spike up to a volt which is pretty impressive uh, so this might have gone a lot easier in terms of working and that really the key um, to getting this work over anything else is um, uh, a magnetic flow and using diamagnetism and magnetism or ferromagnetism um, or ferro and paramagnetism are one type of magnetism they're interrelated and the other would be uh, diamagnetism and wow wow crazy concept start thinking about it see where it goes